Candidates should be able to Describe for transverse wave and longitudinal wave Describe the features of a wave in terms of wave front, wave length, frequency, crest, peak, trough, amplitude and wave speed Recall and use the equation Speed equals wavelength times frequency Describe how waves can undergo Reflection at a plane surface Refraction due to a change of speed Diffraction due a narrow gap and an edge And using a ripple tank to show all effects Waves Waves transfer energy without transferring matter Waves are classified into two types Transverse waves and longitudinal waves Transverse waves In transverse waves the direction of vibration is perpendicular to the direction of propagation, or direction of energy transfer, or the direction of wave traveled. For example, water waves, seismic secondary waves, slinky waves and electromagnetic waves. We can demonstrate the transverse wave by shaking the spring up and down, as shown. Direction of vibration is up and down, which is perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation, or direction of energy transfer, or direction of wave traveled, is to the right. Direction of vibration is up and down, around the equilibrium position. This is the equilibrium position. When the wave vibrates for one cycle, it creates one wave that travels one wavelength. The red particle at the red arrow is moving up and down, this shows that wave transfers energy without transferring matter. Highest peak is called a crest. Lowest peak is called a trough. Longitudinal waves. In longitudinal waves, the direction of vibration is parallel to the direction of propagation, or direction of energy transfer, or the direction of wave traveled. For example, sound waves, slinky waves and seismic primary waves. We can demonstrate a longitudinal wave by shaking the spring forward and backward, as shown. Direction of vibration is forward and backward, which is perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation, or direction of energy transfer, or direction of wave traveled, is to the right. Direction of vibration is forward and backward, around the equilibrium position. This is the equilibrium position. When wave vibrate for one cycle, it creates one wave that travels one wavelength. Where the spring compresses together, this is called a compression. Where the spring extends apart, this is called a rarefaction. Compression is where wave particles are close together and high pressure or high density. Rarefaction is where wave particles are far apart and low pressure or low density. Describing waves. Here is the graphs of displacement time graph of a traveling wave. Here is the displacement distance traveled graph of a traveling wave. Amplitude, A, of a wave is the distance from equilibrium position to the peak of the wave. It represents energy carried by the wave, so a wave with a high amplitude carries a lot of energy. Wavelength, lambda, of a wave is the distance between consecutive peaks, or between consecutive identical points. It is measured in meters, m. Frequency, f, of a wave is the number of vibrations per second or numbers of waves that travel past a point per second. It is measured in hertz hz. Period, t, of a wave is the time taken for one vibration to completely or for one wave to travel past a point. It is measured in seconds, s. If a water wave travels n waves in t seconds. Its frequency is n to divide by t. Its period is t to divide by n. So, frequency is 1 to divide by period. Speed, v, of a wave is the distance traveled by wave front per unit time. It is measured in meters per second. If the distance traveled is one wavelength, then the time taken is one period. Since, 1 over period is equal to frequency. Then, speed is equal to wavelength times frequency. Wave fronts of wave are the lines along peaks, compressions, or rarefactions of the wave are aligned. 
demonstrating the wave fronts of the water wave in a ripple tank. A ripple tank is a shallow tray of water with a light source shining down through it. The light illuminates the wave fronts, making them visible. A straight dipper can be used to create straight wave fronts in a ripple tank. When the dipper is vibrated up and down, it creates a series of parallel wave fronts. The screen below the ripple tank is used to observe the wave fronts of the water wave. The stroboscope, or video camera, is used to make the slow motion of the wave fronts of water wave on the screen. A small sphere dipper can be used to create circular wave fronts in a ripple tank. When the dipper is dropped into the water, it creates a circular wave front that expands outward, as shown. The side view of the water wave in the ripple tank. The top view of the water wave in the ripple tank. We see the wave fronts are straight along crests, or troughs of the wave. So, the distance between consecutive wave fronts is wavelengths. Because of the wavelength, is the distance between two consecutive crests, or troughs of the wave. The direction of propagation, or direction of energy transfer, or direction of wave traveled, is always perpendicular to the wave fronts. Reflection of waves. When waves hit an obstacle, they are reflected. The direction of the wave propagation changes, but the speed, wavelength, and frequency remain constant. Demonstration of wave reflection using a ripple tank. The incident wave front hits the obstacle, creating the reflected wave front, as shown. When the series of incident wave fronts hit the obstacle, creating the series of reflected wave fronts, as shown. Candidates should be able to draw the diagram of this reflection. Draw the incident wave fronts and the reflected wave fronts. The angle between the incident wave fronts and the surface of obstacle is equal to the angle between the reflected wave fronts and the surface of obstacle. Draw the incident ray that is perpendicular to the incident wave fronts, and its direction is the direction of wave propagation, direction of energy transfer. Draw the normal line at right angle to the surface of the obstacle. The angle of incidence, I, is between the incident ray and normal line. Draw the reflective ray that is perpendicular to the reflected wave fronts, and its direction is the direction of wave propagation, direction of energy transfer. The angle of refraction, R, is between the reflective ray and normal line. Space between consecutive wave fronts is wavelength, which are equal before and after reflection. Rules of the reflection. The angle of incidence, I, is equal to the angle of reflection, R. The incident ray, reflective ray, and normal lie lie on the same plane. Circular wave fronts can be reflected at a flat obstacle, as shown. The circular wave fronts is created from source, S. They reflect at the flat obstacle. The image of the source, R, is created behind the obstacle, which the reflected waves appear to come. Refraction of waves. When waves travel through one medium to another, they are refracted. This is because the speed of wave is changed, causing its wavelength also change, while its frequency remain constant. Demonstration of wave refraction using a ripple tank. This area is shallow water and this area is deep water. In a shallow water place the glass block in the water. The water waves travel slow in shallow water due to the friction increase, so its wavelength also decreases, while constant frequency. The water travel fast in deep water due to the friction decrease, so its wavelength increases, while constant frequency. The incident wave fronts travel from deep water to shallow water. The wave speed decreases to cause the wave fronts bend toward the normal line and they are close together. This causes the wavelength to decrease. Candidates should able to draw the diagram of the refraction of wave. This is the boundary between shallow and deep water. This region is deep water. This region is shallow water. Draw the incident wave fronts of wave in deep water. Draw the refractive wave fronts of wave in shallow water.
Draw the direction of incident ray at perpendicular to the incident wave fronts. Draw the normal line at perpendicular to the surface of the boundary. Draw the refractive ray at perpendicular to the refracted wave fronts. The angle of incidence, I, is between the incident ray and normal line. The angle of refraction, R, is between the refractive ray and normal line. When the water wave travel from deep water to shallow water at perpendicular to the surface of boundary as shown. This region is shallow water. This region is deep water. The wave fronts are not bend, but the wave fronts are close together. This shows that wavelength decreases due to the wave speed decreases when travel from deep to shallow water. Draw the diagram to show the refraction of wave of this situation. This region is deep water. This is region is shallow water. Draw the incident wave fronts of wave in deep water. Draw the refractive wave fronts of wave in shallow water. Draw the direction of incident ray at perpendicular to the incident wave fronts. Draw the normal line at perpendicular to the surface of the boundary. Draw the refractive ray at perpendicular to the refracted wave fronts. The angle of incidence is between the incident ray and normal line to be zero. The angle of refraction is between the refractive ray and normal line to be zero. Therefore, the refractive ray is not bend when the incident ray travels along the normal or perpendicular to the boundary. This is because the angle of incidence and angle of refractive are equal to zero. Diffraction of waves. Diffraction is the spreading out of waves as they pass through a gap or around an obstacle. After diffraction, the speed, wavelength, and frequency of the waves remain constant. The amount of diffraction depends on the wavelength of the wave compared to the size of the gap or obstacle. More diffraction occurs when the wavelength is similar to the size of the gap or obstacle. Less diffraction occurs when the wavelength is much smaller than the size of the gap or obstacle. Demonstration of wave diffraction using a ripple tank. When the size of gap is similar to wavelength, as shown, straight wave fronts pass through the gap. Waves spread out more, causing the straight wave fronts to become curve. Space between each wave fronts are equal, this shows that wavelength remains constant. When the wavelength decreases, while the size of gap remain constant, as shown, waves spread out less, causing the refractive wave fronts are less curved. This shows that the waves diffracted less. Candidates should be able to draw the diffraction. When the wavelength is similar to the size of gap. Draw the obstacles and their gap. Draw the straight wave fronts of wave that has wavelength is similar to size of gap. Draw the curved wave fronts of wave that spread out with same wavelength before diffraction. When the wavelength decreases, while the size of gap remains constant, as shown. Draw the obstacles and their gap. Draw the straight wave fronts of wave that has wavelength is much smaller than the size of gap. Draw the diffracted wave fronts of wave that spread out with same wavelength before diffraction. This region is not diffraction because the wave fronts are straight, showing wave not spread. This region is spread out, showing wave is diffracted. When waves pass through the edge of obstacle, as shown, waves diffract at the edge of obstacle. When wavelength decreases, causing the amount of diffraction decreases. Candidates should be able to draw the diffraction of waves around an obstacle. Draw an obstacle. Draw the straight wave fronts of waves with its wavelength lambda. Draw the diffracted wave fronts that spread out around the edge of the obstacle. When the wavelength decreases, causing the amount of diffraction decreases. Draw an obstacle. Draw the straight wave fronts of waves with its wavelength lambda. Draw the diffracted wave fronts that spread out around the edge of the obstacle. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and leave a positive comment. 
Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. Thank you.